Hey, what is going on guys, Fixer here. So today I'm going to be showing you how to render your videos for 4K on YouTube using Sony Vegas. So it's a pretty straightforward process, but there's a few settings you want to make sure you get right, just so you can get the best quality out of your video. Because as you probably know, YouTube does compress the footage quite a bit, and the quality is just not great, so you just want to make the most of it. Now for this tutorial, I will be using Sony Vegas Pro 15, but you can use any version of Vegas, and you could probably even use some other software like Camtasia or Premiere, as most of the settings are pretty similar. So without further ado, let's jump straight into Vegas and we'll get on with it. Okay, so here we are in Vegas Pro 15, but like I said earlier, you can use pretty much any version of Vegas you want. So the first thing we're gonna do is gonna click File and click New, and this will just make us a new project. And then we need to put in all of our base settings. So for the width and height, you just make this 3840 by 2160. This is standard 16 by nine 4K. And the frame rate, you just want to make sure this is whatever your footage is. So for me, when I've recorded my gameplay, this is 60 FPS. But obviously, if your camera records 24, make it 24. If your camera records 30, make it 30. You know, all that sort of stuff. So pretty straightforward. Just make sure it lines up with whatever your footage is. Now the pixel format, we'll leave this 8-bit. Leave all of these. And then resample mode, you want to make sure this is on disable resample. Now, if you're in an older version of Vegas, so 14 or prior, this option won't be here. But what you can do is just right click on your footage and then click disable resample that way. Then you want to make sure this is unchecked because what this will do, if this box is checked, then as soon as you import footage, it'll just muck up all of these settings. And then if you want, you can just tick this box here and it'll start all new projects with the same settings. And then we'll just name this YouTube 4K 60 FPS. And then we can just click OK. So that's Bridget. Now our base canvas is set up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to import some footage. Now I'm not going to go over your footage, I'm going to presume that you already have it at 4K and you know, you know what the frame rate is, you guys can do all that yourself. But you just want to make sure that you are recording at a bitrate higher than about 70 or 80 megabits per second because that's the kind of bitrate we're going to be rendering in for YouTube, so you always want to make sure you record higher than that. Now what this option is here, this is what I referenced earlier, this will change whatever settings you've got to match the footage you're importing. You don't want to do this, this will muck it up, so just click no. Now I've got a few tracks here, so I'm just going to delete some of these. And then what we can do is we can go File, and you know, presumably doing all your editing, all that sort of stuff. It's all ready to render, so we'll go File, and we'll just click Render As. Now as you can probably see here, there's a lot of different options and you know, a lot going on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to click MP4, and then we want to find internet 4K 2160p 60fps. So this is just kind of a base for what we want, and a lot of the settings will be pre-done for us. Now, as you can see here, I have two options for everything, and one of them in brackets says NVIDIA NVENC. Now, what that is, it is graphics card processing. So it'll use the power of your GPU to render the videos a bit quicker. Now, if you have older versions of Vegas, so 14 or prior, you'll be missing this option, but it won't affect the quality. It'll just make your video render a bit slower in older versions. So I'll select this, I'll click customize template, and then this will all pop up here. So frame size, 4K, that's perfect, profile high, the frame rate, that's 60 FPS. Now with rendering, you can't type in your own custom one, you need to pick from one of these. So that is 60, it's basically the same thing. Field order, make sure this is on progressive scan, one, leave all this. Now the bitrate. So if you go to the YouTube page, which I'll link in the description, it tells you what bitrate you need for what frame rate of footage. So if you're using 4K 60 FPS, it recommends 53 to 68 megabits per second. So the best way we can do this is we'll just type 68 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then we'll type the same thing here. And that'll just make sure it renders at 68 megabits per second. But obviously if you're using say 30 FPS, you want to use the bit rate it recommends there. And you could even do this for 1080p, 1440p. Basically, whatever you're using, this is a huge cheat sheet that tells you exactly what you need to upload to YouTube at the best quality possible. Now, if you do render these and you find that it is less than 68 megabits per second, you find that it comes out, you know, 32 or something random like that, that probably means you've got a very simple image and you just don't need to use that space up. So let's say I'm rendering a still image, there's nothing happening, no movement, that'll require a very small amount of space to turn it into, into video. So Vegas will figure this out and it will render it at a lower bitrate. So don't worry if it's coming out less, as there's no actual problem there, it just means Vegas has realized you don't need to use the space and it can just make the file size a bit smaller. 
the encode mode, we'll put NV encoder, NVENC preset. We've put that at default. And then you can change this if you want, like high performance, high quality, but you won't really notice much of a difference and it'll just slightly affect your rendering time. So I recommend just putting this to high performance. And then we've got this last option down here, slightly cut off for me. This is basically just your bitrate. So you wanna put this to variable bitrate. And this will just allow Vegas to do what I mentioned earlier, where if you don't need to use the high bitrate, it'll just run at a lower one and you'll get virtually lossless quality. So that's pretty it. That is all your settings. So you can just name something like YouTube 4K. Perfect. And then we'll just click save and that'll save a template for us. Now we click OK and down at the bottom of the list, we've got YouTube 4K. You can just put a star on that and that'll save it for us. You can see here, I've already got my own previous ones, but that's pretty much it. So when you come back, you want to render, you know, what next project, you know, in a few weeks times, you can come back, find the one that you've starred, render it wherever you want, and then we'll label this you know, ABC, whatever you want to label it, and then just click render. And that'll render your video in the best quality possible or you know, the preferred quality for YouTube. So that is pretty it, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Hopefully this tutorial has helped you. Remember if it has, please leave a like down below or if you consider subscribing. Check out my playlist on screen for more Sony Vegas tutorials. And if you have any questions, any problems, leave me a comment down below. I will try to get back to you. Now, if I don't, please help each other out. If you see someone down there with a problem and you have the answer, you know, pretty simple thing. You can just help them out for a second. That'd be really appreciated. And yes, pretty all. So hopefully you have enjoyed and I'll see you next one. Bye.